And let's look at uh, a crack for RSA, and it's the it's a known cipher text at attacks. Okay, so with uh, RSA, number we have there's Bob, Bob, and there's Alice. Okay, so Alice creates her encryption key and has an associated decryption key. So she has N, uh, E and N, and D and N. So N is the multiplication of two prime numbers, and hopefully it's difficult to find out those two prime numbers from the value of N because it's extremely large. So Alice distributes to Bob the value of E and N, and then Bob will encrypt with that. So if we send a cipher, then it will be the message to the power of E mod N. Okay, so Bob sends that cipher to, to Alice. She decrypts it with her uh, private key and she gets the message back. So everything is fine there. So Bob then decides that he wants to hack uh, the, the 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 message. So he picks he picks a, a a cipher. So he has a cipher here, which has been encrypted with uh, E. Uh, and and he captures the the cipher. Then what he does so he. he stores the cipher there. So he can't decode the cipher at all uh, for uh, the, the because he doesn't know the, the D, uh, the decryption key value here. So the next thing he does is he takes a random number. Okay, so it takes a random number here and then raises it to the power of E. Okay, so he knows the E, so he takes a random number, raises it to the power. And then what it does is he creates a new cipher, which is equal to the original cipher, and then multiplies by R, the random number, to the power of E, and always we take uh, mod, mod N in, in there. Okay, so then Alice reads this and and doesn't understand uh, what the the message actually is so she sends back a message saying uh, Bob I, I I can't understand the message that, that you sent so she will decrypt uh, this so when she decrypts she sends back Bob I can't understand this message here. So she's taken cipher times R E R to the power of E and raises it to the D and she ends up with this value here. So the message that she sends back saying, Bob, I don't understand what you've sent. You've sent me this. So now Bob has this value here. So Bob has C times R E e to the power of d okay and then from here we can see that that is m to the power of e times r to the power of e to the power of d okay so so uh, that's the the message that he will get uh, coming back okay so we now have m to the e d there and r to the e d uh, there okay so as we can see from from the uh, equation uh, there so the thing about uh, but the encryption is that that is equal to, to 1. When we do the, the mod analysis, that value is equal to 1. 
So because of the way that we select the E and the D keys, so then that's measured to the power of 1, and then that's equal to R. So then all we have to do is to take the cipher that was sent back and divide by the value of R, and we now have the, the message. So in this way, uh, Bob has determined what the message is without actually knowing what the decryption key actually is that uh, Alice has used. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, this is an example. Okay, so here's the uh, here's the, the basics behind it. So there's the cipher going out. Uh, Alice multiplies it by R to the power of E. Bob replies back. Well, we used Alice that doesn't understand wh what it was and g gives the message back again. And then from the result, we just divide by R and we get uh, the results. Okay, so there's the there's the basic Python script actually for it. But we can see here as an example. So there's P and Q. We work at a value of N here. We work at a value of phi. The encryption key we select so it doesn't share any factors with phi. And then we work out D, D, D times E then the mod of the phi value is equal to 1. So 1, as we saw before, d times e is 1. And then we work at a decryption key here. And that gives us that value. OK, so you can try this little calculator, but it should actually work. So we'll try value 7 for the message. And a random value of 4. Give it a try. Uh, we can see here that Eve has determined the the value there of uh, seven, which was the the message. Okay, so you can try other examples that we have here with different sizes of messages, and different uh, decryption and encryption keys with different values of n, but they should all all work. Okay. So the key to this hack is that uh, uh, the value that's returned contains contains the uh, this result. Okay. So in terms of what not to do is not to return back the result of a decryption. Okay. Thanks. And that's been an overview of chosen cipher attack.